Facebook. Good evening. Just out here at the bird refuge by my house. Watching sunset. It's a beautiful place to go out and watch the sunset or kind of finish your day. So if you're coming on, say hello to me. Just wanted to share a few thoughts on today's live challenge of Facebook offerings that a few of us are doing. Wanted to show you the place where I am. Really beautiful. So this week I am in level two of the spiral and the spiral is an energy clearing, emotional clearing mod modality, emotional um, healing modality and level two has to do with clearing the emotions of grief and pain and also paralyzed will and um, I have been feeling all of those in the past week um, including physical pain and in my belly and level two of the spiral is the sacral chakra and um, in sacral chakra we do carry a lot of pain a lot of grief and this grief has been in me like a storm um, a storm of activation and as well as a, a storm that is ready to be released a storm that's been held in being held in my body for too long I want to show you this beautiful place really peaceful hey guys say hi to me as you come on so a little bit about grief and pain and paralyzed will and how it really resonates in my body in this week and in, in my work in my inner clearing healing energy work emotional work so I feel really comfortable around grief and I feel really really comfortable holding the grief not only for myself but also for others I feel like throughout my life uh, I have supported um, a lot of people that, that are grieving and um, somehow those people find their way um, to me to, um, to find comfort and to find some sort of support and, and healing. So when I um, think of grief, when I feel grief, it's um, a sensation of pain, it's a sensation of darkness. Um, of all the deaths that we have ever endured or encountered in our lives um, that we have witnessed whether it's physical death or emotional death and um, we hold on to a lot of generational um, grief and pain and suffering grief of all of our broken hearts hi Lori hi Jackie say hi and um, yeah I'm talking about um, spiral level two um, talking about grief and, and pain and, and how it resonates um, in my body or in my life at this time. So grief when it comes to our parents, our children, our spouses, our relationships, um, whether it's our partners or friends, um, siblings, um, parents. And the feeling of grief is a feeling of, of broken hearts and a broken heart that 
is is supposed to happen in order for us to stay open in order for us to broke break open over and over again so that with that heartbreak um, we can choose to explore a little bit more of our heartache and descend into the darkness and for me hi erica for me uh, grief is an important part of transformation an important part of growth um, grief is that dark place within ourselves that um, when our heart is broken um, that's the time to descend and um, to descend into the darkness takes a lot of courage takes a lot of um, levels and um, in in each sta stage of the way down into that darkness, we release and we shed parts of ourselves. We offer everything that we own, everything that we wear, all the jewels on ourselves, the the anklets and um, and the bracelets and our earrings and um, our crowns and our golden breastplates and our hip girdles and we take it all off and at each gate there's a guardian that is um, greeting us and that is um, guiding us and as we descend down into more darkness into more raw hollow um, naked self deep within our soul um, that is where we meet that um, the grieving part of us, the sad part of us, the part of us that is moaning and groaning and wailing and crying and actually giving some sort of birth because of a broken heart and because of the heart being broken into so many pieces and, and the heart is being broken open for our own self and our own transformation. So when we experience grief, and it doesn't have to be our own grief, um, we can feel the grief of others in our bodies, in our bellies, and my level two grief is feeling like, like, um, like the pulsing pain and, 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 and the memories and the reminder of to keep growing and to, to keep transforming and, to recognize that part of ourselves that needs attention, that needs affection, that needs the authentic um, sympathy, the part of us that has been forgotten for so long, that has been hidden under the bed or in a closet, that's been shamed, and the part that's been in pain, and that pain that's never been recognized or faced or looked... Um, into our own mirror reflection of the grief, of our own reflection of sadness, of pain. Um, for me this week also, it's um, ancestral work um, with my gra grandmother that has passed away and um, my homework was to write her a letter. And as I'm writing her a letter, I am feeling her pain, I am feeling her grief, I am feeling her life and her losses and, and, and her griefs and it's just resonating in my body and as I'm going through this writing the letter and feeling I'm also releasing and with the help of my spiral teacher Lori so um, it's an amazing experience where although I feel I feel so comfortable holding this grief in my body. At the same time, I understand that this heaviness um, needs to be released and needs to go. And um, it's time for, in order for something new to transform, the old must be released. And this is where we completely surrender. We surrender and trust to the divine process. We surrender and we trust to magic of the heart, the magic of the soul. And we allow ourselves to die. We are, allow ourselves to die and be in the dark and witness ourselves in our tears, in our grieving process. Um, and we are maybe even forgotten for a little while in there. And we are hung on the hook, on the meat hook 
for days, um, whether we're under the covers, under the blankets, we're hiding from the world, we're taking a little sabbatical deep into the soul to um, explore the broken heart. And there is a story about Inanna. Uh, she's an ancient Mesopotamian um, goddess. Um, her heart was broken by her beloved, and in that heartbreak, she went into the underworld to meet her sister Ereshkigal, who is her dark self. And Ereshkigal has been forgotten by the world. And no one would come and grieve with her. No one would um, offer their sympathy to her. And so, of course, she's wailing and she's crying. And, and through this journey, we do find those authentic parts of ourselves that embrace that part of us and held that part of us and mourn and grieve with that part of us. So that at the end, we are reborn and we are reborn new and we are reborn by our own dark self who is giving birth to the new me, to the new you um, through your grieving process, through your darkness, through only light and love and happiness. Um, I don't know if it's possible to transform, if it's possible to create something new without any turbulence. And so now, at this point in my life, I welcome the, the grief and I welcome the pain. I welcome all the sensations of that. And I stand and I honor and I hold space for that dark part of myself that maybe is in pain and is experiencing. And I know that I will never not experience pain. And I feel like I have never not been not broken. It's, it's important to be broken in order to continue to keep shedding day after day to continue to be reborn each new morning and each new evening it's another chance to to let some part of our, ourselves die some part of ourselves be released and shed like layer after layer skin after skin and continue to grow in this moment of our lives the growth is so ascending and so quick that sometimes it's hard to catch our breath because we are constantly feeling broken and overwhelmed and we're feeling the pain of the whole world, not just of our own lives or our parents. Like we feel men and women in other countries and we are triggered by all the injustice that is happening in the world. And, and that's also how we transform ourselves and, and each other. So grieve and pain. And um, I'm feeling it this week. I'm ready to let it go. And, um, and I know that it's going to keep on teaching me. And it's going to keep on surfacing. And every time you are stronger and stronger. And each time, each descent, you are a little bit more wiser. And you actually rush down into the darkness and you welcome it and um, you deal with it and then you know that you're going to come up come up back into the light and you're gonna sing again and um and welcome the sun again each new morning like the sun um, is setting behind me i know there's gonna be a morning and that's when um i can begin again each new day and each new day can be different from the last. So, thank you, Lori. Thank you, Erica. Yeah, thank you for letting me um, be in your healing container and your healing space. I am so grateful. And um, yeah, this this may be very well my um, spiral two part of the spiral two transformation process and journey these lives and um, I'm happy to share and uh, I hope everyone has a magical wonderful evening and um, honor yourselves honor your grief honor your pain because um, it is it is your ally if you sit with it if you hold it if you embrace it if you authentically mourn all the losses and in that mourning you are giving birth to new you 
and you are able to dance in that darkness with all the shadows. Thank you for watching. Love to you all. Namaste. Mwah.